Hi guys, welcome to the session. So today's session we will be looking on integration of Manage Engine Service Desk Plus using Rust APIs. So in previous sessions we have uh, we have seen how to integrate ServiceNow, which is an ITSM tool using web services. So similar to ServiceNow, Manage Engine provides a very powerful ITSM tool, which is their Service Desk Plus for your ITSM needs, and it also has very powerful uh, web services using REST to interact with the application so that uh, Service Desk Plus can talk with any other third-party tools or any other third-party applications. So using REST web services, you can create requests, problem, change, delete, add, whatever you can do manually can be done using REST services in Service Desk Plus. So this is my demo version of uh, Manage Engine Service Desk Plus. And let's navigate to request you can see no request here this is a fresh version so let's in today's session we'll be focusing on how to create a request update the same request get the details of that request and delete the re uh, request using rest web services and in the previous session we have al already discussed a rest client which is very handy called postman this is a google chrome extension which can be used to play with the rest web service so this is my manage engine um, I'm on the server so I've hosted it locally so let's let's create a request let's uh, create a new request into that manage engine platform so the endpoint will start with the server name the port name that is used to connect and this is a standard syntax for the REST web services of Manage Engine Service Desk Plus. So to create a request, obviously we'll be using HTTP POST. And we have to pass the parameters. So the operation would be add request. Let's decide a subject. Demo request created using fast you also have to pass the username and the password and all the hackers out there it's impossible to hack my machine even if you know the password <laughs> so by just clicking send you will get an HTTP response here. So success the request has been created with work work order ID two. Let's navigate to our I'll just re refresh the page. Hooray! You have a work order ID two which says demo request created using REST. The requester name, whatever the username I have provided with date everything it is there whichever I, whatever I have passed it is there that is it to create a request using rest so just paste this URL into whatever application you have whether it's monitoring tool or a security monitoring tool like QRadar or HPBSM or a configuration tool like HPSA or an automation tool like HPO just paste this URL there to create a new request send these parameters that's it if you want to update the request for example this is not as you can see this is not assigned to anybody it is assigned unassigned so if you want to assign it to a technician maybe Jennifer Doe then go back now what you are doing is you are updating a request so instead of add request I will change the operation here to update request I will add one more field called technician and I'll paste the name there Jennifer Doe let's send the request let's see it's loading work order ID cannot be empty so work order ID is a mandatory field for updating the request let's see so the work order ID was 2 I'll send the request 
record updated successfully so let's go back and refresh this yes it's a, it is assigned to Jennifer Doe in a similar method you can also get the request just change HTTP post to HTTP get remove all this unwanted stuff and then the operation would be get request details send the request and as you can see here all information the subject SLA department whatever it is there you can see in the UI page can be fetched here so this can be used for analysis maybe if you have an automation tool this can be used as an analysis platform and it can kick, kick on certain actions for example if the request contains create an ID user Go back to your orchestration platform, do it and update the ticket back. Such kind of things is also possible. Now you can even delete a request. Just change it to HTTP post again. Go back. And in the operation, you can type it as delete request. Send the same. Work order ID deleted. Let's see if it is not there. Yes, it is. So now we have now we know how to add a request, update a request, delete a request, and get the request details using a REST web REST client like Postman to the Manage Engine Service Desk Plus. Now I'll show you one more funny thing for Manage Engine. If this is a non-premise tool, not the cloud tool. You can go to admin session here if you have access obviously drag down and there you can see API click on that there is a rest API documentation so this this feature is only available for um, on-premise thing at least as far as I know I'm not able to see it in cloud so there you can have just like we have a REST API Explorer in service now, you have a handy thing here which allows you to create the request. You can just fill in the details here and click on the try now. And it will indeed create a request for you. Let's see. See? So you can go through all this close, pick up, assign a technician, reply a technician. You have the URL being generated here. You know the method. You know what all parameters you are passing. You know what all inputs you are passing. Just you can try the same using Postman. It will work for cloud, cloud guys. And if you have any on-premise session, you can do it here. So... That's all from my side. For more such videos, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.